Hello friends and welcome to the new year. Uh, sorry if I sound congested. It's because I am. I'm experiencing crazy allergies in January for some reason. I basically just wanted to kind of talk about what I want for the new year. These are basically like my, my new year's goals if you will. I actually really really like new year's. It's I guess like my favorite holiday. I really like looking at goals and seeing if I'm on the right path and reevaluating things and deciding where I want to be. Uh, so uh, I have a bunch of content goals this year. Uh, I really want to make a video a week. Technically, uh, my goal is to make 50 a year, so you know, my house catches on fire or whatever, I'm good. Uh, but I have backups already like filmed and edited in case I'm too busy to actually make a video. Uh, so you might see some with a different hair later on. On that note of making more videos, I want to do 12 interviews. I want to average one interview a month with creators. It's going to be the toughest goal I think I have this year, but I really like talking to people about the things that they make and the people I admire, so I'm really hoping I can do that one. I also have a bunch of creators in mind that I really like that I've spoken to a few times on Instagram, but we'll see. I also really want to invest in my content. Um, I would really like to make business cards, as dorky as that sounds, and I would also I'm probably gonna look into getting some kind of editing software because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to editing. Uh, thank you to Beard or Comic Bro for answering some of my questions sometimes because I really have no idea what I'm doing. I've also had a few people asking me about merch. Uh, that would be really fun to make this year, but we'll see. I would also really, really like to do live sales. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I think I'm just gonna start doing them like once a month on Instagram. It seems really like fun. I wanna do them in a style that like Dusty used to do or like MM Comics. Uh, just like that really chill, like hang out. Everyone's, you know, just chilling and talk about comics. Uh, that sounds really fun and that's something I wanna get into. And the last thing I'm looking into content-wise is I want to do like some kind of Discord, start up like a, a book club. Uh, that's definitely not something I'll be doing in January, I'll be looking into again in February, but I thought it'd be really fun to do some kind of like book club and maybe like do a live show on YouTube and have people on to talk about what they thought of it, maybe get to talk to the creator who wrote the book. That's something I really want to get into. Uh, but again, uh, January is a little too busy, so I'll be looking into that in February, but I'm really, really interested in that one. Of course, I also have some comic goals. Uh, I actually have a lot of reading goals, but telling those would definitely spoil some content I have, uh, but I'm really excited about those. Uh, there's a lot of runs that like I'm pretty close to finishing that I really wanna finish. I wanna finish my Silver Surfer Volume 1 run. I'm literally only missing issue four, and that issue makes me so irritated. I will rant about that whenever I get it. I wanna finish X-Men 2 through 50. I am working on completing the run 1 through 141, uh, but I'm really close to filling out that like 2 through 50 block. I'm missing like less than 10 issues, which which I guess is technically a high percent, but I'm missing like 9 and 11 and just like a very small handful. Uh, I want to finish my ROM run, like ROM the Space Knight. Uh, I actually really want to read it. Apparently it is phenomenal and it hasn't been reprinted and I think they're really cool. Uh, but yeah, I really want to actually get to, to reading them all in their original format. I have most of them, I just pick them up in like dollar bins mostly, honestly. I want to finish my Doctor Strange Volume 1 run. I'm only missing one issue, I believe, uh, and it's just because I am picky. I have found it a bunch of times, super beat up, but I want a nicer copy. The last thing I really want to finish is my Mr. Miracle run. I keep saying I'm gonna finish it, and I keep not finishing it. Uh, I'm only missing a few issues. I think I'm missing one of the Jack Kirby ones, and the rest are just like the last few. I just need to actually go get them. And then other things I'm just trying to like work on filling in is kind of the same as always. Uh, not ones that I'll actually be able to, I think, finish this year, but I want to work on my Aquaman run. Uh, I'm always working on my Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen and my Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane run. Uh, Submariner, Adam, also Adam and Hawkman. Uh, Green Lantern Volume 2. Uh, but I will be posting specific keys that I'm looking for on Instagram if you are curious about that. There are like a few very specific books I'd really like to find, as well as finishing my uh, generalized stuff. I'm always working on my Josh Milton collection. Uh, if anyone has the Vengeance of Vampire Love 1, either the Virgin or the Red Foil uh, by him, hit me up. I cannot find those, they don't seem to exist. And also his sketchbook, which I don't know if I'll ever find that one, but. Most of the books I'm missing from him are just like website exclusives and I just don't go out and buy like website exclusives very often. But I figure that'll be an excuse to make videos. I'll go buy a bunch of stuff from the store including his exclusives and then we can kind of check out the site and see how they ship and if they're worth it at all. I would also really like to grab another Sensations comic issue. The only Golden Age book I have is a Sensation comic and uh, I would really like more. A lot of them are really affordable, like way more than I would expect. So I'm definitely trying to grab a few of those this year hopefully. 
And then if anyone cares, I also have some personal goals. Uh, I'm going to be moving this year. I believe I'm moving in March at the moment. Uh, and that's like a, a big hurdle for me that I'm really excited for and to move into a new chapter of my life. That's actually gonna make hopefully uh, filming and editing things a whole lot easier. I'll have a little space for it, uh, but fingers crossed. Really big personal thing I wanna work on this year is buying things from small businesses and buying things from people. Like I wanna, I wanna focus my money in places that I really like and I want them to grow rather than just giving money to the soulless corporations. Uh, so, you know, local comic shops and people on Instagram and buy from small coffee shops instead of Starbucks and all that stuff. That's just something I, I really personally want to work towards more. Uh, I think I already do that more than the average person, uh, but yeah, that's something I really, really want to focus on. I also, I'm a bit of a mess. I've never been able to hold a routine in my entire life. Uh, some days I get up at three in the morning, some days I get up at noon. Some days I work for two hours, some days I work for 12 hours, but I just want to get, get something. Like even if it's just I have a bedtime, like I just want to get some kind of routine in my life. Sometimes I make all my food at home, sometimes I spend every day eating out. Like I, I have never been able to have any semblance of a routine and I think it would be really good for me in general to have a routine. So really small, I just want to just get, just want to get something. And the last thing is that I want to find more balance in my life. Like I want to create more memories. I feel like every day at the end of the day, I have done so much in that day and it's packed to the brim and then I'm tired and I go to bed. But the things that I'm doing, it's just, it's just work. It's just normal life and I haven't really made like memories I feel this year. I haven't done a lot of things. I feel like unfulfilled. So I wanna, I wanna do things. I wanna spend my time intentionally rather than just getting distracted by the normal day-to-day -day nonsense. Uh, there are some specific things I'd really like to do. Uh, I always wanna go to New York Comic Con. I wanna make that my yearly trip. Uh, I do live in Pennsylvania, so I wanna go to PAX Unplugged. I've always wanted to go. Uh, I've been looking at the Uncanny Experience. I'm not sure if I'll go to that one yet. But yeah, I just wanna, I'm not the type that likes to go out every single day, but I want to make sure that I actually end the year feeling like I have done more things. You know, like this last year, I, I ended the year by seeing Beetlejuice in New York and that was really fun. And then the last day I went to a bookstore and bought like a bunch of books with someone. Like I, I have done things just, I feel like when I look at the pile of things that I spent doing this last year, it's just not enough, you know? Uh, so I'm not gonna change that this year. Yeah, please uh, let me know what you're looking to do this year, what personal goals you have, what comic goals you have, what areas are you trying to grow and change as a person, or if you don't care and you just, you know, want to keep doing you, that's awesome too, and I'm a little jealous. I just don't have that kind of brain. In a few days, I will be posting my favorite pickups of last year. Yeah, I'm really excited to show you all the stuff I picked up. Uh, I'm a little biased, but I think I got some cool stuff. Yeah, please let me know, uh, let me know your goals, and hopefully I will see you guys in just a few days. Bye.